Dash and I just got to Joanne's Fabric and Craft Store. I'm gonna pick up a few things to finish off his Halloween costume and a couple things to finish off Josh and I's costumes as well. Uh, I might pick up some fabric also and some thread. I got a sewing machine last Christmas from my mother-in-law and I've yet to even take it out of the box. So I kind of want to try my hand at that and see if I can't actually figure out how to use it. So yeah, hopefully there is a Starbucks or something close here because I wouldn't mind getting some coffee. Little man's back there, kind of sleeping, kind of not. He had a rough night last night. He's teething pretty good, so he didn't sleep too well. So, hopefully he's not too cranky today, but he's already been a little grabby this morning, so let's hope he holds out long enough to get through the store. Just got done in Joann's. Um, I got a few things for the Halloween costumes. Um, some of the stuff I'm probably going to have to actually go to one of the Spirit Halloween stores. So maybe I'll do that later today or tomorrow. Um, I did get some really cool like ombre teal fabric. I want to try making my own nursing poncho. Um, I have one of those nursing covers that kind of you put over your neck and goes over the front. But he's big enough now to where he can like pull it off and kick it off. So I've been looking into ordering one of the nursing ponchos, but they're kind of expensive, so I figured um, it only takes a yard of fabric and a little bit of thread, so I think I spent like $8 on it. So um, I found a pattern online, and I'm going to, I guess, try and do that. So I will show you guys the fabric and stuff more when I get home and leave a link for um, the website that I found that actually gives you like the patterns and the directions and stuff, so let's hope it turns out good. So this is the fabric that I chose. Uh, it looks more like baby bluish in on the camera, but it's actually like a darker teal green all the way up to like a mint green. So I am going to cut this edge off the bottom there. And then the directions say to measure out a 25 by 60 square rectangle. And then you fold it in half and then you just sew 13 to 16 inches on one of the seams and then that's basically it. So I'm gonna go get my sewing machine out and cut off this edge here. And this is the thread that I got. I bought it to match the lightest color. It looks pretty good to me. So I got Dash right here in the bumpo. Can you say hi? And there's Rocco. Yeah, hi. So this is the fabric all laid out. You can kind of see the color a little better here now. I have it on my kitchen floor. Um, so it's a little shorter. It's about 59 inches long. And then it's just about 28 inches wide. Um, the direction said like 25 by 60, but if it's a little bit bigger. I don't really mind. So getting ready to cut off this little edge right here and then get to sewing. Yeah. So this is the sewing machine that I have. I literally like just took it out of the box. It's like everything is still like in the plastic and whatnot. So I am going to read a little bit of the directions to make sure that I am doing everything properly and then hopefully get to sewing. What are you doing? You're so big. You're so big. Ah! Yeah, you are.
leg after just doing the simple instructions that I found. It's just an easy, you can see the stitch there. I turned it inside out and then uh, put the seam in, um, in the inside so that you can't see it. So this is what it kind of looks like on. I think it'll work great for nursing, honestly. It's a little longer, so I may or I may not cut some length off the bottom. And then I will probably just throw a stitch in the hem to make it look a little more finished. Um, but other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, definitely I'll use it. Come in handy, so hopefully it works as well as I'm hoping it will. Not bad for using the sewing machine for the first time, so I'll take it.